it has been a really interesting to s- surprise to find so much music in the early Caldecott Honor winners. And here I have Caldecott Honor winner from 1946, Sing Mother Goose, and a Caldecott Honor winner from 1947, Sing in Praise, both by Opal Wheeler and both illustrated by Marjorie Torrey. So a duo that did back-to-back years Caldecott Honor. And the first one, Sing Mother Goose, over here is a collection of Mother Goose nursery rhymes, but each one is set to music. So we've got Sing a Song of Sixpence, Hot Cross Buns, alternating full-color illustrations with black and white line drawings, and nursery rhymes like Hot Cross Buns I associate with a melody, but not all of the nursery rhymes included here do I associate with melodies. So I wonder where uh, Opal Wheeler got some of these melodies. Are they uh, from someplace, or did she come up with some of these melodies on her own? It doesn't say anywhere in the book. Um, no, nothing but the nursery rhymes and the the music here. So no... No information about whether she created any of the music on her own there. But Sing in Praise is all Christian hymns. And if you're familiar with any Christian hymns, these are a lot of popular, more well-known Christian hymns. Onward Christian Soldiers, Faith of Our Fathers, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. And again, there are full-color illustrations, um and alternating with black and white, just having line drawings. But the difference with this book is here's Faith of Our Fathers with a full-color illustration looking very much like stereotypical pilgrims there. But Faith of Our Fathers, right before that hymn, there is a whole explanation that comes before that about how that hymn came to be or the story of that hymn. And this second collection of music very much seems like what um, folks of the time maybe wanted kids to be interested in reading and looking at, whereas a Mother Goose collection seems much more like what kids maybe would be interested in looking at and singing.